there's no doubt in my mind that I, I, I love this, okay? Uh, what I've found that uh, I'd like to work with is, uh, because my area is social studies, something which would be helpful to social studies teachers in the classroom, and even a big aid to me in terms of picking up some uh, resources I can use. And what I do first is I go to the uh, teacher resources at the uh, Cool Tool site, click on it, and it takes me out to where I have the choice of science and social studies uh, resources. I hit on the uh, fifth one, that science and social studies resources, and it takes me on out to where there's an entire listing. And whenever I got the social studies part, I don't know, I think I went through almost every one of these, but, but the one that I found which would be extremely helpful both to me and, and also to your regular uh, K through 12 classroom teacher, particularly at the secondary level, is this one that is marked as the uh, flow of history. Uh, so I'll go to that site, and whenever I get to that site, it has it set up in such a way after you get to welcoming where it talks about theory, uh, the, the whole theory behind the site itself, and historical resources. Now I'll go to each one of these to take a look. In terms of theory, what it does is it talks about why it makes sense to use this uh, particular uh, setup, and it talks about the problems in uh, using uh, textbooks and how what you can do is you can make things much more visual in terms of what you're going to be doing with students. So I go back to the original thing where it gives me uh, history uh, resources. And some of the history resources which it has there is uh, further readings it has. This film resources is it gives you an idea that if you want to use films in the classroom, it gives you backgrounds of the films, gives you uh, information about uh, what you would find in a particular film, and gives you suggestions as to uh, how those films can, can be used in terms of that. And that all comes from the Internet Movie uh, Database. So if you could go to some place like YouTube and actually call up clips of some of these films. Now I go back to the uh, history resources uh, on the website. And what it does is it, it breaks down history into uh, particular sections. For example, it has birth of Western civilization. Then I have a choice as to what kind of information about a particular point in time in the flow of history I'd like to go to. So let's say, for example, we go to the Dark Age of Greece. And what it does is it gives you readings, which could be called up for the students to take a look at. And what I really like is it makes available these charts. And in terms of the charts that they have, it's broken down. And you can use these in a classroom to help organize some of the information. And particularly in terms of visual learners, that make it possible for them to have some understanding about the flow of things and the interrelationship between uh, different concepts and ideas in uh, history. Now, if I go on back, I have my choice down through like the Greeks, the Romans, the Middle Ages, and so on. Then over here, I have uh, U.S. history. I can go to sections of U.S. history. I can go to the... Uh, War of 1812, for example. I hit on the War of 1812, and what it does is it gives me uh, information which is available in that particular case. Uh, another thing which is really neat down here is uh, there, there's a section where it gives you uh, historical parodies about things. For example, uh, there's one here where it talks about the uh, North Pole. And that's good to use with students to really catch your attention as a hook because it talks about the geopolitics and the rise of St. Nicholas and the first war and the elves and the second war and World War II and world domination and how Santa Claus managed to take things over. That kind of can be used to show that uh, in terms of uh, actual history, and uh, this parody, it makes kind of clear as to what uh, ideas students could be looking for when they look over some of this information. So you have those uh, uh, flow charts and so on that are available. Then there's also other resources 
which you can take a look at in terms of further readings in each one of those areas okay which uh, they're going to start to add as it tells you right here that there's more information that they're going to be making available there's art history resources uh, for like visual students where you can go to uh, different museums for example the uh, Louvre in uh, Paris and you can pick up information so whenever you're talking about particular things in class of different works of art in terms of history the students can take a look at that information and then whenever we go back to the uh, history resources on the site let's look at like the world for example since 1945 okay uh, we look at the post World War War the beats and the counter uh, culture revolution and you get this thing where it talks about uh, the counterculture and the leading up to a rock and roll and the rise of a youth culture these are excellent flow charts that give students an idea as to how things were actually taking place there's an outline of history which can be given in the uh, very beginning and it gives you ideas in terms of big concepts uh, which you can find in history and you can take a look at uh, Mesopotamian history for example gives you the readings you can call up the chart you can look at the information on the charts and know about the different civilizations from that particular region and how those civilizations uh, had an impact and what kind of things they uh, brought about in terms of new ideas uh, about the site itself and how I got started there, there's information and not, not that I need it after taking a look at this site where it has uh, testimonials it dove, does give you by looking at these testimonials <coughs> some actually extremely good ideas about how some of these testimonials can be used in the classroom so in terms of uh, what's extremely useful the idea of being able to call up these flow charts and to call up uh, particular readings that it has to do with it, it, it's so helpful and the organize, organization of, of the materials not only helps the teacher I mean I remember back before computers when I first began teaching and the problem was you spent forever in a lot of cases looking for information now there's just so much at hand that you can use that it's absolutely astounding and it can create so much uh, in class in terms of increasing student understanding and getting students actively involved in things so this this is what I took a look at and I'm going to tell you what overall I'm quite pleased with uh, what I've seen